what is going on guys Vuxer here in today's comparison video we have the audi rs q8 versus the lamborghini urus you might be asking why am i comparing these two coupe suvs well the urus and the audi rs q8 are based on the same platform if you didn't know volkswagen owns audi and lamborghini therefore you might see some shared parts between different companies of the VAG group. So in today's comparison video, we'll be starting off with the Lamborghini Urus. This is the premium trim with some added on stuff to it. With the Audi, that's the highest trim. Like usual, we will start off with the features slash details of the vehicle. Starting off with the front details. So as you see in the middle, we have a detailed sensor some of these parts of the grill seem to be 3D, but there is no 3D radiator behind this, which is interesting. So it kind of just looks black from a far away distance. But if you come over close, you can tell that this part is actually 3D. This does look really good, but if it had a 3D radiator, that would have made it look a little bit better. But we have each individual part modeled in right there. Coming over to the side, we have more 3D modeling. I feel like that should be 3D modeled, like obviously, because it's a main part of the bumper, as you can see, if you zoom out a bit. Same thing up here. I'm not sure what Lamborghini calls it, but it's a very interesting look. It seems to be that we have another sensor down here, unless that's some form of a camera. We have more details along here and along here. Coming on up, the same amount of detail. And lastly, we have a 2D logo on the hood right there. Um, now let's go over the lighting. For the lighting section of the Lamborghini Urus, we have the individual beads for the headlights. The turn signal seems pretty detailed, but at the same time it doesn't. It doesn't have any form of a glow to it. We have a little bit of clipping there, but that's just an easy fix. Um, overall, the lighting in the front looks okay. It's not the best compared to some other cars um, in this category. This vehicle also features mirror turn signals, which is a nice added touch. Coming back to the rear, we have a full neon look, as you see, as the brake lights, and we have the turn signals. It looks really good back here. It's quite simple also, which I really do like. The reverse lights back here are actually decal though, which is fine as you're not really in reverse that often. If you come down here, it doesn't seem to have any detailed reverse lights, but that's cool. I mean, tag lights. You have the roof light right there. And that's very much it for the Eurus's lighting. Alrighty, now that the lighting is done on this vehicle, let's go over the side details. Coming over to these wheels, we have some nice design wheels on this vehicle we have black brake calipers these brakes are really big i'm not sure if these are brimbos or not but i'll let you guys know we have some more attention to detail right here we have a italian flag this vent doesn't look great as a decal hopefully in the future this can be turned to 3d as there is some clipping seen around here which is uh interesting let's say that um, the overall fender though, it doesn't look too bad. Um, compared to some newer Greenville cars, we have seen better. But if you look again, body lines are present. As you can see, we have the cutouts for the doors. You have the sharp body line going across, which most modern cars do, which is really good. It looks a little odd down here, but I can see that it's a part of the design, but it just doesn't work well in Roblox. You have this nice black strip right there and the ride height is like this coming on up you have a moonroof unless this is some extended sunroof it is quite small for a luxury suv but it's a performance suv therefore you don't really need that extra big sunroof or whatever over here you have a roof spoiler but then you also have some form of a ducktail spoiler right there Coming on down, it's similar to the front, so let's move on to the rear. Coming to the rear, you have four exhausts in total. Um, here's how they look. They seem to be going to nowhere, which is very unfortunate for an SUV like this. As you can see, it does have the rounded off look, but 
There's no form of a muffler or anything under this vehicle, which is unfortunate. You do have more sensors. You have a rear diffuser. You have some rear kind of reflectors right there. License plate. There is no detailed backup camera, sadly, or tag lights, which sucks. Um, the decal on these tail lights are a bit questionable. Um, this logo looked like it was 3D, but it's actually 2D. So the detail on that is really nice right there. And here's how the rear just looks in general. You do have some 3D vents back here that lead to nowhere. So um, yeah, no air is going out or in whatever way it goes. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad it could be better i think this is an older greenville model actually not that old it's from like fall greenville so yeah the detail has improved since then so that's good to know at least let's go over the features of the audi rs q8 right away you may have noticed we have a full 3d grill with a 3d logo and there's actually carbon fiber around here I'm not sure if the yours had carbon fiber or it was just left out but yeah we have each individual bit of the grill modeled in, including the sensors, which is very nice. Um, it seems like this probably took a good amount of time to make as it's just a very complex design on the front grill. But if we come to the side vents, those are not actually 3D, which is very interesting considering that you have this very high detailed grill, but you come to the sides and it's just a decal. You do have some design flowing through here, but this whole part through here just seems to be carbon fiber, which is a nice added detail to this car. Since we are criticizing everything, let's go over the headlight decal and whatever that is. So the headlight decal, um, it looks good. Just don't get close to it. And they really did utilize the lighting on these headlights, as you can see. But, you know, there is a bit of a weird shading right there and right there, which seems to happen on a good amount of the Greenville cars. But if you're far away, it doesn't look like anything to worry about. Here's the lighting section of the Audi RS Q8. As you see, we have decal bits right here, but this also features sequential turn signals. It's a typical Audi thing, so it's pretty much on a good amount of their models. This doesn't have the new high beam system yet. The yours doesn't either, but when it gets it, I think it'll look really, really good. And yeah, overall in the front, it just looks pretty good. We also have mirror turn signals, just like the Lamborghini yours. Now let's go to the rear. For the rear, we actually have a full neon look. So we have this neon light bar that goes across. We have the brake lights, which are actually on the side right here. We have the sequential turn signals again neon brake lights and if we come under there's no tag light again which is completely fine neon brake light up there and here's how the rear lights look a lot better than the yours okay once again you have a very nice design for the wheels and you actually have a red brake caliper this time the brakes are also really big i'm not sure if the wheels are the same size but they both have a nice design to them as you come over to the fenders, as this is a less complex design, it is a lot smoother compared to the Lamborghini Urus. We have another sensor right there, but overall it doesn't look as rigid as the Urus, and that's not a bad thing at all. It doesn't look all rough. The Urus was a bit iffy when it came to the fenders and stuff and just the overall side profile, and I really like how this looks compared to it. Coming down the side more, we have more body lines here. As you can see, we have one right there and we have some lower body lines right there. It doesn't look as rough as the Urus did, but the Urus is a different design, I guess you can say, as far as the body lines. You do have the door cutouts and the door cutouts right there. Also have the cutouts for the window, of course. Carbon fiber mirrors is a nice touch, actually. And the rear fender, it doesn't have as much rough edges compared to the Lamborghini. Coming over to the rear, we actually have a shark fin. We have a roof spoiler with the roof light. We have a wiper. I'm pretty sure the yours may have had one. I did not check, but I'll double back. We also have, uh, it doesn't seem to be a spoiler, but it kind of just flows off right there. 
but here's the tail lights the overall decal looks better in my opinion um it's literally not me being biased this logo also looked 3d for a second but it's actually 2d the lights are really utilized it's kind of like a 2.5d design they kind of look like they're 3d type thing we have these vents that go to nothing once again and we have exhaust which actually leads to nowhere once again wait no there's actually a muffler there so they're actually connected which is a nice touch for this vehicle and you also have the detail inside of the exhaust itself as you can see but then it just kind of stops right there which is interesting audi does like going fake exhaust but i'm not sure if this even has fake exhaust here's the overall back of the vehicle I almost forgot about it, but here's the side profile of the vehicle. Here's the ride height. This and the Urus seem to have the same size sunroof or whatever you want to call it. It does look quite weird, but these are performance SUVs. Now we will go over the rating section of the video. For the handling, the Urus gets a 7 out of 10. It does cut power a lot when you try to corner fast compared to the Audi, so therefore its rating will be lower than the Audi. I just don't like the power cutting. Even if you turn off traction control, it just cuts the power and sometimes results in a huge amount of understeer. The Audi RS Q8 gets a 8 out of 10 as far as handling. You can throw this thing like a car, just like in the previous review when the X5 can be thrown like a car. But the thing is, between these two SUVs, they both have a tendency to lose traction if you throw it a little too fast, which can cause you to crash. I don't think you want to crash your performance SUV, do you? The 0 to 60 on the Lamborghini Urus is 3.1 seconds, extremely fast for an SUV this size. Although the Audi RS Q8 has a power cut compared to the Urus, as the Urus has a more expensive SUV, the 0 to 60 is only 0.1 seconds behind the year is coming in at 3.2 seconds, which makes this a huge bang for its buck. For comfort, the Lamborghini Urus gets a 9 out of 10. Since this has a quieter engine noise and it has a less tendency of spinning out compared to the Audi RS Q8's fast steering, this gets a higher rating as it's more of a daily driver. For comfort, the Audi RS Q8 gets a 7 out of 10. The engine noise is really loud and the handling can get sketchy as far as a daily driver standpoint. So yeah, that kind of lowered the rating, but this is a good bang for your buck as far as the speed and such. Sound is one thing that we all have different opinions on, but I'm going to give this one to the Audi RS Q8. The loud V8 noise that this produces is just very nice. The Lamborghini Urus, it's kind of droned out. It kind of just sounds like it's farting sometimes, and I'm not really a fan of that. But if you put this thing in sport mode, it just goes, and the engine sound is really, really good on this Audi. Once again, the Audi will take the win as far as detail. This has a 3D grille. It has much more detail compared to the Lamborghini, and the Lamborghini clearly looks like an older model, which is not a good thing considering that it costs more. Hopefully you enjoyed today's car review. At the end, I will put the specs of both vehicles on the screen and then the video will end shortly after that. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next Friday on the next comparison. And yeah, this has been Vuxury and I am out.